All right, so uh, you might recognize this is the uh, same one that I repaired the last time where the um, guy had ripped the odometer off of it. Uh, this time, this is just for demonstration purposes to show you guys on YouTube how to do it. I'm going to reprogram the, uh, the odometer on this one because uh, the guy that's going to I got somebody lined up that wants to buy it, but he's going to bring by his old cluster, and I'm just going to swap the chips off of his onto this one. But uh, I just figured for demonstration purposes, I'd uh, pop this guy off, show you how to program it on the computer. If for some reason, you need to, like, say uh, it's your own cluster, and you had the odometer error where um, it uh, corrupted the EEPROM, and none of the data is left on it. You just wanted to reprogram it. Um, this this will kind of show you how to do it. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually record the uh, calculator that, that I use, but uh, other than that, I'll, I'll show you how to read the data off of a uh, one of the mini pros. The uh, the oh shoot, I can't remember the brand name. The four by four and some of the other. Uh, Prom readers like this will work. All that you need is this um, uh, SOIC 8 adapter, or S this one says it's SOP 8 adapter. Um, but yeah, you just need one of these adapters, put it on there, and then you can read it. Uh, and then you just take your, uh, your EEPROM here off. Uh, when I when it's got good stepper motors on it, I like to put a little foil to help with the heat. Um, I don't think I've ever melted one before. It's just uh, like to have that little extra protection there for it. So yep, let's get to it. I'll start removing it. So. And yeah, I just use one of these cheap Chinese um, heat guns you can get off of eBay. But start kind of far away so that way uh, you preheat the board a little bit so you don't bubble it. If you, uh, if you just start right away super close, you can uh, bubble the board and kind of start separating the layers. So. And that's it for removing it. So just a little hot air comes right off. Just let that cool off. And yeah, as you see, no, didn't melt it at all. Uh, they're really not hot. I, I probably don't need the foil. I just like to put it on there for precaution. Uh, but yeah, just fold it over a couple of times. That way it actually insulates some if you just have it just as a flat piece. That, and then a little bit of kaftan tape too to kind of buffer it off of there but yeah that that's it for removing the chip um you really got to clean the flux off of it or else i don't get a good read on that adapter there so a little bit of isopropyl alcohol let's see i'm gonna kim white to Dab at it a little bit. And um, I didn't mention it before, the orientation of these, uh, text goes the same way on uh, the EEPROM as the um, main IC there. Uh, that's, that's just how I remember it is they read the same direction. Um, easy way for me to remember it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this in here.
All right, there we go. You just gotta kind of gently line it up in there. Um, yeah. So, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention before. These are different LEDs than I normally use. They, these have three little uh, surface mount ones on there. They give a nice even dispersion on there. I don't know how long they'll last. It, this one, the customer brought them to me, so I figured you'd try them out and see how they work. They're, they're pretty inexpensive, too. You can get, uh, shoot, I think, I think it was like 20 of them for 10 bucks or something like that, so they're pretty inexpensive. Uh, figured that's worth giving a shot, seeing if they work. Um, so I'll, I'll let you know how these work out, but uh, they do look nice. I took the one off by the uh, uh, by the EEPROM so that way it didn't uh, accidentally melt it or something. Put a little caftan tape over that LED again just because LEDs don't like a lot of heat on them. So, all right, I'm gonna switch over to the uh, other screen here. But yeah, I like to I like to keep this guy turned off. I don't trust it. Uh, you know, cheap cheap Chinese stuff. You know, sometimes uh, it might work good, but the safety is not that great. I'm sure if it uh, fell off, it would just melt everything and uh, burn down the whole garage. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't don't trust it for safety, but it does a good job. It heats stuff up, melts solder, gets stuff off the board. So it works good, but uh, I don't leave it idling, unlike these other tools. Okay, so yeah, you can see I use OBS to record all this. So screen capture, let's go ahead and... Alright, so in the Mini Pro, you come in, uh, make sure you're set to the correct chipset, uh, device, read, read device, make sure you get a good read off of it, always save your original dump, so let's go ahead and save this, uh, let's call it 04 eBay, because this is that eBay cluster, alright, so there's the original dump off of it, uh, let's go ahead and open up this gallon, this is the calculator that I use, um, uh, there's there's other ways out there to get the uh, stuff done. Uh, a lot of people like to use um, oh I can't car prog or whatever that thing's called. Uh, it's a little standalone unit. You don't even have to take the chip off the board for it. But okay, go in and you select your car. So Chevrolet, uh, Silverado, and let's see here 2004 to 2007. All right, go ahead and then get on here, calculate whatever it is, because uh, the mileage is actually stored in kilometers on here, so you need to convert whatever miles you want to kilometers, and then go ahead and put that in, uh, calculate, and there you go. So it is going to be 0C. Oh, I am not typing on here. Let's see here. Zero C thirty-four. And then just go ahead and change that to F. Alright. Zero C thirty-four. Alright. It's stored on here multiple times 34 and that should be it. yep that was it because it's on there three times um yeah so it's stored on here multiple times uh and also it's not just like a regular calculator it's an algorithm on there so it's not like you, it's not just stored in hex of whatever you want as you can see the VIN is stored on there kind of plain text but everything else is algorithms and stuff to kind of hide it from you so there you go after you do that go ahead and let's go ahead and file save this as 04 ebay edit edit there we go it has been saved 
and device uh, let's see here program program and we had a successful write so now just take it out of the reader put it back on the board and should be complete so let's finish this up let me switch it back from here to the All right, so let's see if that was successful. So, here we go. Uh, the, the clip goes to the top if uh, you haven't seen me do this for the thousandth time. <laughs> All right, turn on the, I got the power supply here. Let's look again for solder bridges. All right. And there we go. 79 99 nine. <laughs> So, there we go. Uh, roughly 80,000 miles. Uh, sometimes this is not... Uh, exactly right the calculator that I use it, it, it's kind of within 200 miles normally within 20 miles uh, with this cluster so um, yeah if you're using one of those calculators uh, just be aware that they're definitely not perfect um, sometimes the digiproc can be uh, imperfect the Oh, what's it the FG tuner or whatever it's called I, I think it can be inaccurate too um, but if this is something like that you're just gonna do like one time uh, I wouldn't recommend buying one of these calculators they're not exactly cheap um, there's a couple of forums out there that you can post to uh, you just you know bust out your what is this I can't even remember how much I paid for this. I think it was like $30. Uh, I don't know. I bought this like, shoot, probably five or six years ago, maybe even longer. Eh, I've probably had this for about 10 years. Um, but I, I originally got it for program. I was programming the old EPROMs that went on, um, the, uh, the old OBD1 um, for the tune port injected uh, Camaros and stuff. I use this to, to tune them, but um, that's besides the point. But yeah, so get your digiprog out or whatever prom reader you have, take your chip off, pull a dump from it, and then there's a couple of forums that they're completely okay with you, you know, uploading your uh, your dump and asking them to, uh, you know, give you the, the changed mileage. Um, it's a trying to think digital chaos is one of them and chaos spelled with a k um that's that's a forum where a lot of people post to to get information on how to program these and stuff they're they're located out of the uk uh, there's a lot of other stuff on there that uh, you know i'm not a huge fan of the website because it's a lot of like yeah pirated satellite kind of stuff going on on there so not a huge fan of the website, but there's a lot of really good information on these instrument clusters on there. Um, so, yeah, they, they also got a lot of good information about if you're trying to get into uh, reprogramming the um, airbag modules off of these, uh, well, just about anything. Uh, the, yeah, that's another one you can pull the dump off the EEPROM, upload it, and uh, they'll, they'll set, reset it for you. Um, and then just send it back to you. So um, it's a pretty good forum, a lot of information on there. Um, a lot of really good information on these instrument clusters on there. But um, yeah, if you like this video, I know I originally said I wasn't gonna show the calculator, but I figured what the heck, uh, I'll show it anyways. Cause you know, uh, okay, now you know how to put 79,000 miles onto an instrument cluster. Um, big deal, you know, you, it, 
a couple of Google searches and you could have figured it out anyway. So I know there's a there's a couple other guys out there on YouTube that have showed how to program these, but literally all what they do is take the chip off and put the other one on, or they uh, take out a um, digiprog and program with that. And I mean, it, that that's no fun to show. I mean, the digiprog, you literally just kind of go, go through the different screens on it. And I, I really don't like the digiprog. It's pretty glitchy. Uh, it's, it's kind of a piece of junk, so. Um, not a fan of the Digiprog myself, um, or sorry, I keep saying Digiprog, I mean, um, Carprog, uh, no, no, the Digiprog is what I'm talking about, the, the Carprog is the little silver box, that, that thing has some really useful software with it, I, I've never used it myself, I've seen other people use it, it looks very useful, the Digiprogs, the big blue turd that people put on their bench and program these things with not a fan of it if i'm getting these backwards let me know down in the comment i'm going off the top of my head on that one um but yeah i just need to clean this flux off of here and put this led back on and this one's done but uh yeah uh thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you like the information i shared on here if you'd like to see how to program some other clusters let me know um there's a couple of them out there i don't know how to program uh off the top of my head i don't know how to program the uh uh impala cluster from here let me just go grab it i can't remember the years but I will grab that cluster and show you one of them. Alright, here we go. Um, this Impala cluster. I don't know how to program it. Um, that's, that's the only one I can think of off the top of my hand that I don't know. That I don't know how to program, so... Yeah, let me know down in the comments what you want to see. Like and subscribe. See you next time.